everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And I'm not up to much, I promise you that. I'm just gonna do a tiny, and I mean tiny, 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 tiny bit of decorating on my mailbox outside for St. Patrick's Day. I have a shamrock sign to replace my heart that I had out there for Valentine's Day. And I'm just gonna make a new funky bow and I'm gonna literally just put some green and white carnations and a little shamrock little thingy doogle that I've had for a couple of years, couple, three years. I'm not sure how that's gonna look. I don't have like a little leprechaun or anything like that. I haven't been shopping. So I thought I would just try to do this just for something, something to put out there, you know? I don't have a mailbox cover for this time of year. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little bow and then I am going to go ahead out to my mailbox and... Hello, you're taking me the wrong way. Should be turned the other way. <laughs> We're walking out to the mailbox. Here we go. We're gonna put this stuff up on the mailbox. The mailman is right here right now. The mailman is right here right now. Our mailbox or our mail just arrived. So here's my bow. Here's my shamrock. <laughs> and Chris is taking video of me <laughs> and I didn't know he was taking it <laughs> got my scissors in my pocket cold out here it's only like what 40 maybe it's cold it's a dank cold you know so here we go I gotta take my mailbox cover off. I don't have another one. Taking all this stuff out. Forgot to bring a bag with me to put it all in. I'll just have to pick it all up in a pile and carry it back to the garage. <laughs> all right, here's my shamrock. I'll put that on in a minute. I have a little, little shamrocky thing, old as the hills but it's just going to sit right out here. Okay, I'm going to put my bow on in a minute. But this is literally all I have, you guys. <laughs> it's pitiful. And I just, I don't know. St. Patrick's Day is wonderful for some folks, absolutely, but I just don't decorate a lot for St. Patty's Day. So as you can see here, just adding a little bit of this or that here. I might have to invest in a new one of these. That's pretty pitiful looking. <laughs> I am one of my square bows back here. Left over right, right over left. And then I'll bring my Never Wet back out and spray this bow before we get any rain. And I'll spray the flowers too. Hey everyone, it's the next day and I was not happy with what I, with this is all I had in here and it was pitiful. So I just went to Hobby Lobby and I picked up these two little, you know, 
two little trios of flouncy things. So I'm just going to stick them in here just to, you know, add a little bit of interest, you know, to it. Just give it a little bit of something something <laughs> to catch the light you know all right let me do some final words here this makes me feel much better but let me say some final words here thank you guys again for stopping by even though we had to do this in kind of a frenetic fashion and there's some bloopers in this one for you <laughs> and this is a very quick video but I did want to show you that I do do a little something for uh, St. Patrick's Day. This is really it. I don't do it anywhere else. I won't do any on the front porch or inside the house. Just the mailbox. Just to say happy St. Patrick's Day to the mail person, pretty much, and to those who might see it. So anyway, let me just say that I hope that all is well with everyone and that I hope that those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making each day the very, very best that it can be. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love you all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.